I'm really proud of the Lakers. They make it three wins in a row with a monstrous comeback victory over the Dallas Mavericks. The Lakers were down 27 points, but they kept fighting. And that effort, they didn't give up. And that's their biggest comeback since 2002. They beat the Mavericks 111 to 108. They were down at halftime, the Lakers 47 to 61. Looking at this game early on, Luka Doncic started to heat up slowly and the Mavericks started to slowly pull away uh, in that first quarter. And it was because of their three-point shooting. They shot really well from downtown, I give them that. The Mavericks got off to that good start, leading at the end of the first 28-16. to 16. I thought the Lakers closed out the first half okay, uh, you know, cutting down that 27-point lead uh, to 14. And then in the third quarter, there was really that question, can the Lakers come out strong? Can they keep fighting or are they going to give up? Are they going to struggle? But they did keep fighting and they didn't give up. And they worked as a team and they adjusted. In the third quarter, Jared Vanderbilt was our spark. That's for sure. He was laser focused. He was quick on his feet. Jared Vanderbilt had 17 rebounds, one assist, 15 points, six out of eight from the field. He knocked down a three pointer and he also had four steals. What a player. And when we traded Pat Beverly, I thought to myself, who are we going to get to replace Pat's efforts? Because we look at a player like Pat Beverly, and he's that hustle player, always hounding the opposition. Always quick and laser focused. Jared Vanderbilt's our guy. And you know what I don't mind about Jared? Unlike Pat, he doesn't run his mouth. He focuses on the game. He gets the job done. And he's the perfect fit for our Laker puzzle. A big shot by Anthony Davis late in the game against Luka Doncic and the Lakers held on. I really loved uh, seeing the adjustment from the Lakers. The adjustment that's been missing at times, not only this season, but for the past three seasons. The Lakers didn't shoot the three ball well. They were 6 out of 34 from downtown compared to the Mavericks 20 out of 49 from downtown. And to see the Lakers really look at themselves and think, well, we're not shooting the three ball well. Let's work inside the paint. Let's feed Anthony Davis, who had 15 rebounds, four assists, 30 points. He also had three blocks. Let's feed LeBron James, and he can do a bit of bully ball inside the paint. Exactly what he did at times. He outmuscled the Mavericks. Eight rebounds, three assists, 26 points for the King. And Dennis Schroeder, a nice contribution. One rebound, eight assists, 16 points. The points in the paint for the Lakers, 62 to the Mavericks, 32. There's your big differential in the game, and that's where the Lakers really worked well because they backed themselves in, they outmuscled the Mavericks in the paint through AD, through LeBron, and they attacked the basket. They got the easy baskets. Uh, they got back on defense. They got a few stops. The rebounds, 56 for the Lakers. The Mavericks had 48. The Lakers had 17 offensive rebounds. So great to see that effort and hustle and 11 offensive rebounds for the Mavericks. Speaking of the Mavs, credit to them. Luka Doncic, 9 rebounds, 5 assists, 26 points. He had 4 out of 8 from downtown. Kyrie Irving had 11 rebounds, 5 assists, 21 points. And Tim Hardaway Jr., 4 rebounds, 2 assists, 17 points. 4 out of 8 from downtown for him. What an effort. We didn't give up. We fought until the end, and we turned this game right around. Well done, Lakers. A chance for four wins in a row on Wednesday against the Grizzlies. Go, Lakers. All right, guys, if you like that recap and you want to see more of my content, remember to hit that thumbs up, like, comment, and hit that red button down there that says subscribe. Much appreciated. For more content, follow me on my Facebook page and also my Instagram page.